Hi there, I recently tried ordering fish online from a new store I never tried before, Aquatic Arts. This time, I went with yo-yo loaches, so keep watching to see me unbox these fish I received in the mail and do a review of the Aquatic Arts website. Connor here, welcome to my channel. I've ordered fish online now a handful of times, and I still find it cool that it's so easy to do and just get fish shipped right to your door. I have always found yo-yo loaches interesting, and I knew I wanted to get them one day, but um, I now had room in a tank, and I had a snail population also in the tank that was starting to grow past uh, my liking. So I thought, it's the perfect time to get some yo-yo loaches and try them out. I found them on a website called Aquatic Arts for a pretty reasonable price, so I decided to give that website a try. This is the actual unboxing. So I want to go through what came in the box, and I'll show you the fish initially right as they came out. So uh, it looked very professionally packaged, had styrofoam around everything, everything was solid, nothing really moving around. Um, came with very professional acclimating instructions, and just a, a thank you note. And then also a little sticker, which is always a nice little bonus to have. Uh, one thing I did notice though is that it didn't come with any heat packs in it, as you'll see when I open this up. Um, the temperature when I ordered it was, it was in the fall, and it was uh, pretty good temperatures, probably around 70, um, where I'm at. And so that wasn't an issue, but I would uh, read the shipping for if you're getting from them in the winter, because there wasn't a heat pack. So that'd be something I was con would be concerned with if I ordered in the winter. But um, either way, I took them out. Um, I noticed right away most of them looked like they were swimming around healthy, which is something uh, I definitely like to see. Um, however, you'll see here at the bottom, um, there was one that didn't look super well. It wasn't moving, and its gill looked very red. You can see a clip here of it, a good clip of it. And uh, I was worried that that one wasn't going to make it. I um, wasn't sure if it got injured during shipping or if I just got one um, that wasn't in the best health, but it didn't look good um, from initial shipping. And then here's the fish after I first took them out, after I... Um, acclimated them and then I put them in my quarantine tank. Um, there was some molly fry here, uh, but I didn't have another tank to put them where I didn't think they'd get eaten, so I did put them in there. there. But um, overall, when they came out, they are all swimming around, even the one that looked injured, which was very good to see. Um, so, And uh, a few weeks later, he's still swimming around, um, still has the injury, the red on his gill, but other than that, he looks fine. So hoping he pulls through. I was pretty sure that I was going to have to contact them, get a little refund. Uh, but he seems that night and even a few days later seemed that he's swimming around and looking fine other than the marks. So I didn't message them or send them any emails or anything and he's still doing fine to this day. So uh, hopefully he makes it through and heals up. And here's some more clips of all the loaches over the next few weeks, what they look like. And they're still all six of them are swimming around looking healthy other than the one that did have the red gill. But he's swimming around. They're all eating. So here's the website. Um, I had actually visited the website a bunch of times before. I'm um, just working on an app I was working on. I needed data for water parameters on different species of fish. And looking through all the sites online, I have found that theirs has been very accurate to some of the sites that are regarded for having the best quality of data. So um, definitely went into the order from them with a positive uh, thought on the website just from that. So starting off here, overall, the site's very nice looking. You'll see very professional looking pictures. It overall just looks very good um, if we go and close it down a bit. So it does look nice on a mobile phone, which is very good. A lot of uh, fish sites, maybe not a lot, but enough of them uh, just don't look good on the phone still, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But anyway, so it looks good on the phone, which is good. Um, the only kind of negative I say is their menu here, they have a lot of stuff here and then when you do go to small, it kind of has this weird scrolling thing. But uh, overall, it looks very nice, very professional, um, very easy to navigate to get the stuff. And uh, another big positive, if I go to some of the species uh, store, uh, we'll actually just go to loaches since that's what I ordered. Um, it actually sorts them by uh, what's in stock first and then sold out um, second, which is very good. Not all sites do that, so I appreciate that. Here are the yo-yo loaches I ordered, and you can see what they look like but they ended up looking very close to this, so it's very accurate to what they look like. Uh, very accurate in size, too. Here's the prices for them. 
And then they usually do do, for most species, um, if you get groups, they do offer them uh, cheaper, so like the price goes slightly down. Um, otherwise, it gives you a good amount of details for all the species about them, which is cool. And then uh, parameters and care guidelines, and um, they have this for pretty much every species, which is very nice. Uh, but overall, yeah, they have a lot of different pages. Um, I do kind of wish they would combine some of these, which is a lot in the menu. Uh, but they do have kind of all the important things for shipping interview info. They have a nice shipping page that details everything. Um, goes through the live arrival guarantee. Um, and they also just seem like a good company because they have some other things like pet adoption promo. Uh, you get $50 store credit if you give proof that you adopted a uh, dog or cat. Um, but going back to the shipping info, um, it kind of details everything. Uh, for the shipping rates, they do it based on package sizes, um, and I guess that mine is either the small or medium. I kind of forget now, but um, it was thirty dollars for shipping the six loaches, and you'll see the size of the box is pretty small box, but it's a fair fair amount of shipping, and it came um, very quick. Um, I got it pretty much next day. You'll see the days here that they do ship out on, um, and how long it expects to take. They have a lot here, so I'll just read through it. But um, I what I did is I ordered mine a Saturday night. And then the Tuesday following that, so three days later, it shipped out. And then I received it that Wednesday following morning, uh, which is very quick. One thing I've had problems with from other sites I've ordered online is you'll order it, and then you don't really know when it's going to ship. It might not ship till over a week later. Um, it's kind of hard to plan around that, whereas this I ordered on the weekend, and then it came a few days later, like I said. So I was very happy that um, it shipped when it said, and it was uh, very prompt between the ordering and shipping time. So overall, I would just give my final thoughts. Overall, it was a very positive experience from Aquatic Arts. Uh, I like their website, as I said, and went through the positives on that. I got healthy fish. Uh, the one was a little injured, but they were small fish. And I think it probably just happened in shipping. But he still pulled through and is looking good to this day. So overall, successful on that. They all live. I'd say I expect to pay a pretty fair price for the fish. Um, I got the six loaches for they're about $30 and then $30 for shipping, uh, which is pretty good. Um, the shipping was very quick. If I had to say anything about the site, that was the, they've been the best in shipping in terms of anyone I'm ordered from. So expect if you order on the weekend, they should ship it out a few days later. Um, and then you should get it very accurately um, based on the shipping option you select. Um, I would just be careful with winter shipping. I'd definitely read up on the site to see what it says. I know it does have a section about colder temperatures, but um, I would just make sure you are going to get heat pack. Um, if they, uh, if it is winter and you are getting shipped from them because the one I got didn't have it. Um, and overall, uh, I definitely ordered again from this website. There's actually some of the, uh, vampire crabs that look interesting that I think I want to try in the future. So I'm definitely going to be ordering again from this website. Um, and I'd highly recommend it. Had a good experience. Um, so that's pretty much it. So thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this unboxing and review of Aquatic Arts, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be posting mostly aquascaping tutorials, product reviews, and trying out more websites for ordering live fish um, and other pets. So if you do have any questions or if you've ever, ever ordered fish online, uh, let me know how the experience went. Uh, my experience to this point for the handful of times has been very positive, so I'm just curious about other people. But anyways, I'll catch everyone in the next video.